What is good, Nation? It's Stock J back with another video, and in this one, I'm going to be talking about the one and only AMC stock, which you should be looking after for the future. I'm also going to break down why tomorrow is going to be an absolutely massive day for AMC, for the markets, for the futures, because we have the big CPI report that's coming out. So, I'm going to break down why on earth this is so big for the markets, how this will affect AMC, believe it or not, and why on earth the expectations are coming out the way they are. Now, before I break anything down about when it's coming out, what the expectations are, what the data may do to the markets, I do have to mention a couple of things before starting firstly i'm not a financial planner don't take any of this as financial advice whatsoever and also if you guys can please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this it not only benefits me it benefits the entire ape community as a whole and the last things if you guys can please check out the mumu link down below and in the description if you sign up for mumu with the link down below and deposit a hundred dollars into the account you're guaranteed up to 15 free stocks each with up to two thousand dollars and the best part is any of these 15 free stocks can be a free amc share a free tesla share or a mix of all of them them. It's a limited time offer that ends in just three days. Please check it out before they run out. With that out of the way, let's get on with the video. So AMC is coming down as of right now, as the whole market is pretty choppy. And I mentioned in my previous video, I saw AMC coming down to that $5 level into the fives. And that is where AMC is right now. But where we move tomorrow will be heavily determined by CPI. And that's why I really want to focus on that because you have to remember, AMC is not in squeeze mode right now. This means that if the market tends to drop really hard, AMC tends to drop with it. Even if the market pushes up a bit, if the market has a big run to the upside, AMC could also get dragged up too. That happened during every single one of the previous runs we had. My point is, Right now, the market could either crash or get a big rally, depending on CPI, and this will affect AMC, in my honest opinion. So right here, CPI is coming out tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Please be ready for that. It's going to happen right before the market opens, and how we move will be heavily determined by this day. Now, right now, it's expected to have actually run hot for the month of September. Because remember, the data is coming out tomorrow. It's going to be for the month of September. And they do believe that rent would be the thing that ended up boosting it. Now, that is what many expectations are kind of like coming out and suggesting. However, there are other things that will affect the data. Now, right now, we're starting to see the Treasury yields fall a bit as people are very uncertain about what's happening with CPI. And there's just all these articles coming out saying it's going to be hot, it's going to be like really high and this and that. Now, looking at some in-depth research, we could actually find that many economists out there are talking about the fact that even a 0.4% monthly change would represent an annualized increase of 5%. So just talking about how core CPI may have actually risen once again, so there are lots of expectations saying it's going to go up, it's going to be high. The Bureau of Labor Statistics is expecting an 8.1% rise from the last year for this latest CPI report. So there are all these pieces of information. I actually have the data right here for core CPI. Uh, I'm going to actually break all this down in a very simple way in just like a minute or so. But right now, let's look at the data real quick. If you look at core CPI right here, this thing was going up and up and up and coming down just all over the place, went up high in March, went up high in June, came down a bit in July, August went up. So some people are now anticipating because of the Fed's rate hikes and the things coming out, it could actually go up just a little bit one last time. It's starting to slow down before it continues to come down. I, however, I'm hoping that it actually comes down or it ends up being pretty flat this time around because it does look like it's starting to flatten at least during this time frame right here as the rate hikes are now having a big effect on it. Now, looking at the data, you guys can see this blue line right here represents CPI of all items, including food and energy. And you can see it's been on a slight downtrend, but overall, it didn't matter as much because the thing that drove it down would be those gas prices coming down since June, but they are starting to come up for October. So that is a little bit concerning. The thing that did concern the markets last time was that core CPI, which is an excluding the food and energy. This actually went up. The markets did not like that. So what's going on for the next time it comes out? Well, you have to remember something. Looking at gas prices, all right, the overall CPI came down in the month of August when gas prices went down by about almost 60% between July and August. So now the September data is coming out and gas prices went down almost like 20 cents or, sh or so, something like that. So it, it came down again, right? Actually, it's almost 30 cents. It came down again, so hopefully this could actually help CPI come down. As far as core CPI goes, that's actually very capricious. So let's actually break down the numbers. 
All right, so this is the CPI expectation that I found from more, most credible sources and a lot of investors, 8.1%. Now, I must note, tomorrow if we wake up, if we look at the market and we end up seeing a 7.5 to 7.9% CPI rating, that's going to be pretty darn good for the markets. However, CPI itself is not the only thing we have to look at. It's also core CPI. I'm going to break that, that down in a minute. Now, if we get 8 to 8.1%, that's going to be okay. I mean, it's still going to be that 8% range, but anything meeting expectations or being lower than that, that could also be all right, right? The market could still actually see a slight push up after this. Now, if we get 8.2 to 8.3%, that is going to be pretty bad because despite energy prices coming down, you know, if it's still going up like this, the sentiment is going to change. You have to remember, fear is driving the markets. Right now, the markets are very fearful, and this will be just pretty bad for them if CPI is high again. This is a major inflationary measure that's accepted by millions of people. If it's too high, the markets are going to be afraid that the Fed will have to be even more hawkish. They'll have to keep rates higher for longer periods of time. And many Fed speakers are going to be giving these very hawkish speeches that cause the market to drop. Anything above like 8.4%, that's going to be horrible. The market could crash if we end up getting that, which I think is very unlikely. Now, based off my research and based off what I've seen in gas prices, I wouldn't be surprised if we see something around 8 to 7.9%, but more, I'm more leaning towards 8% flat, so a slight beat on CPI, uh, expectations being a little bit higher than the actual numbers. Now, this would be pretty good for the market if we do see CPI cool off a bit, and that's what I'm thinking is going to happen. But what about core CPI? What about the core number? And this is why I want to break this down for you. Core CPI is estimated to be at six <coughs> excuse me, six point four percent. Now, in my honest opinion, it was six point three percent last time. So anything between like six to six point two percent would actually be pretty good for the market. But but if it's six point three to six point four percent. 6.4% would be meeting expectations. 6.3% would be where we basically were last month, or I'm sorry, for the month of August, which was the month before the, the month that's coming out, which is September. This would be okay for the markets, maybe kind of bad if we get like 6.4%, but anything at 6.2%, 6% would be pretty good for us and we could still see some green. So I would say... These two are the most likely possibilities, but I'm leaning a little bit more towards that 6.2%. I'm going to be a little bit more uh, optimistic about that. Anything above 6.5% would be pretty bad because it would show quite a bit of an increase compared to the previous month of uh, August. And then anything above 6.6%, that would be pretty, like that would be really bad and the market could actually crash. So in my honest opinion, we're more likely to get a 6.2% core CPI. That's my target for it. And then for CPI itself, I'm looking at an 8% increase overall, maybe a 7.9%, somewhere around here. So I'm anticipating a slight beat on everything because I do believe that uh, CPI is kind of like starting to flatten. And also with gas prices coming down for a second consecutive month, it's very likely we actually get somewhat of a downturn in these numbers. Now, with that said, you have to be prepared for anything. Even if CPI is good, like we get like 7.9% or 8%, if core CPI is like really bad, the market could still crash. So you want both of these to be pretty decent, all right? So I'm, like I said, I'm hoping for 6.2%, a nice uh, a drop in core CPI. I'm hoping for 8% to 7.9% in CPI overall. I'm going to be very optimistic with this prediction. And as a result, I'm hoping that this does help the market push up a bit. And this could be the start of a small rally for midterms. But in order for us to get that rally, we're going to need CPI to come in lower than expected. So that's what I'm hoping for, guys. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. We're going to find out tomorrow how it goes. And this is why tomorrow is going to be a major day for AMC. It could really go either way. It depends on the market. But I think it's a little bit more likely that AMC gets a push back above that $6 range, maybe 6.25 or even higher than that, if we get a big push to the upside in the overall market. With that said, be ready tomorrow. It's coming out at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. It's going to be big for the markets. Everyone is ready. The whole world is on the edge right now. So do what you have to do. Remain calm, calm, collected, and get ready for tomorrow. It's going to be a huge day. Thank you all for listening. AMC to the moon because the long-term future is still very bright. And peace 
out.